Hello everyone! Welcome sa ating pangatlong solve problem sa separation of variables. We have to obtain the general solution for the following differential equation. We have sine of x sine of y dx plus cosine of x cosine of y dy is equal to 0. For this problem, we involve tayo na trigonometric functions. Again, for separation of variables, kailangan muna natin pagsamahin lahat ng function of x kasama ni dx tsaka lahat ng function of y kasama ni dy. Ito yung kailangan nating tanggalin kay dx kasi this is sine of y and then for dy, kailangan nating tanggalin si cosine of x. So to do that, we have to multiply both sides of our equation by sine of y. Ito yung kailangan nating tanggalin and then kay cosine of x. Mawawala dito si sine of y pero magkakaroon ako ng 1 over cosine of x. So this becomes sine of x all over cosine of x dx plus and then for this part, mawawala naman si cosine of x. So, ang nangyari ay cosine of y all over sine of y and then dy. Now, our differential equation is already separated kasi sine of x all over cosine of x function of x to. Cosine of y, sine of y, this is also a function of y. So, now we can proceed with our solution getting the integral ng both sides ng ating equation. Let's work first on our first term. We have sine of x cos sine of x dx. So, anong pwede natin gawin for us to get its integral? So, what we can do is we have sine of x cos sine of x. Yung nasa denominator natin, cos sine of x, pwede natin siya magawa ng paraan para makuha natin yung direct derivative niya ay nasa numerator. So, it may lead to ln. We let u be our denominator cos sine of x. Anong derivative nito? du is equal to negative sine of x dx. So, ang mangyayari, so we have cosine of x here, this is our u, kaso nga lang, ang nasa numerator natin ay sine of x dx. So, this is negative, kaya we have to multiply this by negative 1. So, we have our sine of x dx, this is equal to negative du. That's it for the first term. Lipat tayo dito sa pangalawa. So, same process, eto mas direct na kasi ang derivative ng sine of y is cosine of y dy, positive sila pareho. So, we let v, pangalawa natin, be equal to our denominator, sine of y. Ang derivative niya is cosine of y dy. Then, we will be substituting, dahil okay na tayo, so yung cosine of x natin, this is u, etong sine of x dx natin, this is negative du. Kaya, anong nangyari? So, this is negative du all over u, and then plus Yung cosine of y dy naman natin, eto, that is equal to dv, eto siya. And then, yung sine of y natin na nasa denominator, that is equal to v. Kaya eto yung nangyari. We just substituted them. Then, ilabas natin tung negative dito para pwede na natin siyang gawin na ln directly. So, this is negative integral of du over u. Wala pa tayong ginalaw dito. Then, du over u, its integral is ln of u. Then, dv over v, its integral is ln of V. Pinagpalit ko lang siya, inuna ko lang yung positive, si ln of v, and then minus d over u integral is ln of u, and then wag kalimutan si c. So, bakit ko siya ginawa? Kung mapapansin nyo, both ln. Okay? Since both ln sila, they have the same base. ln is logarithm base e. So, pwede tayo mag-apply ng rules of logarithm. So, we have ln, they have difference, difference ng dalawang logarithm with the same base, pwede natin siyang gawing quotient. So, we have ln of v minus ln of u. This is equal to ln of v over u. Yung si natin, this is a constant. Kapag kinuha na natin siya ng ln, that is still a constant. Kaya, ginawa ko siyang ln of c. So, ano yung gamit niya? Kasi since we have ln sa left side ng ating equation, we have ln dun sa right side, I will be raising both sides of my equation, gagawin kong exponents etong dalawa ng e. Kapag ginawa ko yun, ma-extract ko yung nasa loob ng ating ln. So, this will become just v over u is equal to c. Again, ang ginawa ko lang is, kinuha ko si e and then ginawa kong exponents yung left side at yung right side ng ating equation. So, we have to recall our rules of logarithm for that. Then, we have our v over u is equal to c. Balik na natin siya. What is our v? Ang v natin ay sine of y. Ang u natin is we have cosine of x. So, ito siya. So, this is equal to C. Then, okay na naman to, pero if you want to make your equation a single line, we can multiply both sides of our equation by cosine of x. So, this is cosine of x. Then, this will become 
sine of y is equal to c cosine of x. This is the general solution of our differential equation. Thank you.